Hi everyone, welcome back to Newfoundland Gardener. So I got my onions in, and uh, today, snow peas. I'm gonna get my snow peas in. I just took the uh, mulch back. You're actually sitting in the uh, the holler bid hoop, one that I grew the scarlet uh, runners in, scarlet beans in last year. Uh, snow peas, they grow to, to uh, two meters or six feet tall. And uh, they like to have something to climb. So they climb air attached to air and go up. And uh, a great stable for any garden. And they're co-hardy, so you can get them in the ground and uh, watch them grow. Uh, you set them in succession. So that means set them and in three weeks time, set more. I won't be home to set more, but uh, I just pulled the mulch back here. And uh, from this bit after being sitting in March all winter and just look the cellar was under the mulch so lots of worms in this bid peas likes organic matter so uh, this is the uka bid that I made with all the buried uh, tree particles and tree stumps and underneath so for the day every leg that comes down I'm going to put a pea, probably put two, and every one that comes down into the bed. And the camera is leaning up against a steel square frame trellis. So when I'm done, I'll set some over there as well. So, uh, yeah, beans is uh, peas. <coughs> oh. They're great for your garden and good eating too. So just follow the pack. Just I'm gonna put just a little three ones right along here, and uh, they come up and take on this tree, and up they go. So I'm open when I comes on in June, late June or early July. But these fellows is uh, doing awesome so that's what i'm hoping for so uh do you set your uh, snow peas early if so have a look at them this garden is all about sharing so i love to see what you do now uh this soil just got uncovered from the mulch that i had put on it so uh I used the seaweed mulch. It just comes ashore right here behind my house. I got her scald, so it's very light and stringy. And I just use it to make a little covering over the soil. It helps to retain the dampness of the soil and keeps the moisture in. And it's really good for all that stuff. I grew a beautiful tomato here last year. One of the biggest tomatoes that for the first time I ever grew tomatoes. Doreen gave me a tomato and he was gorgeous here. I uh, took him in the house. He grew right in this bed. Right there somewhere. He was a gorgeous tomato. Big, great, big tomato. Took care of himself all while I was gone away. So, uh, I'm going to uh, finish planting up this bed. And if you're, uh, and you haven't tried snow peas, Go ahead, give them a try. They're a wonderful stable for your garden. They're really good for you. And they love growing a new plant. Have a good one, everyone. And remember, keep growing on a rock. Bye.